Hey Libra, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're interested for more weekly and monthly readings, you can go and check out my channel. I do have uh, more readings for you there, especially for this month. All right, Libra. What do we have for Libra in love? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Temperance. Four of coins. Ten of swords. <laughs> Three of Swords. Okay. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Aries. Aries. Two of Coins, the Fool, and Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, the Hermit, the Ace of Wands. Oh, wow. The Two of Cups. Okay. For a moment there. I could see that um, possibly the person in your mind could already be in a new connection. But then when I clarified it, it we have this seven of coins and it feels like this person is waiting for another chance for, uh, you know, for both of you to compromise, to be on the same page, to, to start something uh, romantic with you. Okay. Uh, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, all right. Magician, the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop getting more cards. Eight of um, Eight of Cups, and at the bottom of the deck we have. Um, the six of coins. Oh, all right. This right here, Libra, it may or may not resonate, but the way I am seeing it is you have a connection with someone that seems like a, a Romeo and Juliet, a theater. You know, it's more like that. It's more like Things were good when it was good, and then it was really downhill when it was down, yeah. When things were not really good. And you've been through it all, yeah. You felt betrayed about the situation, yeah. You were hurt, and you were really big time disappointed towards this person for whatever they've done. For some of you, I'm getting that, yeah, like I said, the very first um, intuition I have there was... This person could have another uh, connection. And it could be even during the time that they met you. Yeah, when you first started getting to know one another, it feels like this person was out in the dating scene and so you, so were you. Yeah, you were probably just meeting, I don't know, online or however you guys meet. And it feels like they have options, you had options too. and the energies actually were, were your energy were distributed their energy were also distributed to different people right just trying to see you know check out which option is best so I, I feel that that is the situation here that is the situation here but I feel too that with you there was some sort of um, deep feelings felt when they were with you um, it felt like this person wanted something serious and they were pretty they were pretty upfront with it with you that they were looking for something serious 
but it feels like too when I say that it looks like a theater show it's it's like a show a presentation show that one person say they want something serious and then you start engaging with one another and then all of a sudden that person may feel like they could do better and in this situation they may have left you so they could have other options too when they were meeting you or when they knew you and they feel that they can do better that's what I feel yeah that's what I feel that's the backstory that I'm getting and it's been a while it's um it feels like you have now you are focusing on healing yourself because uh, them not choosing you is, is pretty bad right it's not it's not a happy thing I don't even know how this person has um ended things with you but you may even think that all of, of what this person has said, you know, all the, um, they want something serious, they want you, they even, you know, do things for you that would make you feel like you were the chosen one, were all a show. Yeah, and you felt disappointed about that. Rightfully so, you got hurt. And you are healing yourself. This situation doesn't seem to have any... I feel like you have lost trust yeah, towards this person after that. Who wouldn't, right? Now, the person that you have in mind... Um, this could be a person who, like I said, who could be contemplating and in, in reaching back out to you to see if there is still that chance to recover where they have left off mm -hmm. for some of you this could be um, somebody who is now in, in a new relationship and they are waiting to see whether they want it or not um, this could be someone who has um, put a, a halt again in this new relationship that they have because they're not really sure maybe they can do better so it feels like this person is um, possibly looking for something really grand, but somebody too who could be very, very picky. Yeah, so what they did to you, I feel that they're also doing it. If, if they have another person in mind right now for them, if they are with someone else, they're also doing the same thing as what they did to you. Yeah. This person wants um, passion, wants um, the spark, the interest, the chemistry in the beginning. Yeah, but when that chemistry or, or you know, if they, if the initial spark has been, uh, they have tasted the initial spark, the spark, the tendency of this person to run away and look for another um, opportunity is just pretty much there. So you can say that this person may not be very committal, but the way I see it is that this person's self-esteem actually is pretty low, yeah. And the way um, they try to comfort themselves, yeah, is to always engage with new people because this new people doesn't really know them. So there is no backstory to it. So they would always appear as a hero or a queen or somebody who is pretty good yeah but when that initial spark wears off they go off running for a new opportunity because uh, there is this fear of being um this person is fearing something they fear that you will know them more they fear that the moment you know them you will also see how little they are yeah deep inside or how because this person has a very low self-esteem like i said so they don't have high regard for themselves and the more you get closer to them the more they feel like you would also lose that respect or regard towards them because you will eventually see or you will eventually see them the way they see themselves now does that make sense they are afraid to be uh, discovered <laughs> basically 
That's what I feel. That's what I feel. And um, although this person still wants to continue with you, they are not actually doing anything right now. They are not uh, pursuing you. Um, they have also sort of detached emotionally from the situation. The good thing here, Libra, is that um, the way I see it is you are healing yourself. Yeah. Even if you felt abandoned or rejected, you are healing yourself, and actually you are you are becoming um, the better you. Yeah. As time goes on, uh, for some of you, this experience of having to meet a person like this is actually making you stronger in terms of finding that uh, person that is more suitable for you. Yeah. If you were very idealistic in the past, now you have more data, you have more information as to what type of person do you really have to stick with. Yeah. Now you would know if you meet another person like this, a per person with a who are hiding themselves not wanting to be vulnerable you don't really care whether they want to commit or not because along the way you will see right but you would eventually know that um, when you meet a person like this they will just put up a show yeah in the beginning that they are interested yada 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 until they tasted that spark yeah and then they withdraw again because there is something that they are probably ashamed about themselves. You don't know that. Especially if this person has been cheated by their ex or by their uh, in the past relationship. That is an experience that is uh, hard to heal. And if this person has been just jumping for new spark, new experiences all the time, it means they haven't really healed. And you don't want to be the person to heal them. The good thing about this is that you see this happening and you are more focused on what makes you more beautiful more comfortable yeah more abundant yeah more suitable for your um, empress throne i feel that you are working towards that okay i'm gonna leave it at that and um i hope this gives you insights let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe